Today, on the 19th of February, we remember St. Conrad of Piacenza. The story of St. Conrad's conversion is connected to an accidental arson. He was born around the year 1290 to a family of nobles in Italy. He married the daughter of another nobleman and loved her greatly. They lived a pious life together. One day, while out hunting, Conrad ordered servants to set fire to brushwood to flush out some game. A strong wind spread the fire to nearby fields and forests, and the flames went on to destroy villages. Unable to stop the fire, Conrad returned home in secret with his servants, and they said nothing about their role in the disaster. Authorities seeking the arsonist arrested an innocent peasant and tortured him to confession before condemning him to death. When he heard this, Conrad was filled with remorse and stepped forward to take responsibility for the fire. He was ordered to pay restitution for the damages and sold nearly all of his property and his wife's dowry to do so. The experience caused the couple to consider where God might be acting in their lives. They concluded that God was calling them to a simple life of service, and they gave the rest of their possessions to the poor, and each of them joined a religious order. Conrad took on the life of a hermit and lived a life of prayer and solitude. He became known for his holiness and people sought him out for advice and spiritual direction. He moved several times to find greater solitude, but people seemed to always find him. During a severe famine, people asked for his prayers. When relief came, his fame spread, and he was constantly visited by people seeking help. A number of miracles were attributed to him, and they continued at his tomb after he died. People suffering from hernias often ask for his intercession. Conrad died at Noto in Sicily on February 19, 1351, while kneeling before a crucifix. He was canonized in the year 1625. Placing all our petitions before him today, let us together pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that, like Conrad, we will always strive to do the right thing, even if it means suffering humiliation and the loss of all our possessions. St. Conrad suffered these things, but in dying to himself and living for you, he has gained the respect and veneration of many, and now has his eternal reward, which far surpasses any earthly possession or honor. Thank you, Father, for your love and mercy on us all. Amen.